Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make creamy potato bake. This is a variation of my recipe of creamy potato bake that you cannot afford to miss at all. Before I proceed, please guys, have you subscribed to my channel? If not, what are you waiting for? Please go ahead and press the subscription button and the notification button. Please support my channel. So guys, before I proceed, I would like to say this is one of the best potato bakes I've made in a very long time, especially when it comes to the entire family. The last time I made such a potato bake was in Paris, when I used to live in Paris and my kids always come from there. You must have noticed that I love my potato bake so creamy. Some people actually cook their potato before making their potato bake. And without further ado, I'm going to get to the ingredients. We need 10 finely sliced potatoes, 2 cups of Colby grated cheese, 3 tablespoons of butter, 2 and a half cup of flour, half diced onion, 1 teaspoon of salt, powdered cube, ginger and garlic, which is very optional, and half cup of milk. So the first thing I will be doing is to melt my butter in very low heat and start frying my onion. And after that, I will be adding some very delicious spices like ginger and garlic and I fry until done. I will go ahead and add two and a half cups of flour and thoroughly stir and add some milk and stir again thoroughly making sure that there is no lump in my butter. going to go ahead and add some straight some straighted cheese and stir it thoroughly making sure that everything is well mixed together making sure that I am cooking all this in under slow heat I'm going to marinate with rock salt and black pepper I'm going to go ahead and add some bouillon seasoning, which is very optional. Please feel free to skip that one if bouillon powder is not your thing. In a Pyrex medium sized dish, I'm going to pour my butter. Or I can rub my butter then I go ahead and thoroughly line the thinly sliced potatoes on my pirate dish it always looks beautiful to line them properly you can sprinkle a little bit of bacon mix if you want. The next layer should be onion. You can mix onion with bacon mix as I said. 